And then the weekend comes and we splurge a little bit more, right? We're more social. We, we go out with people. And sometimes on occasion, we spend more than we anticipated that we would, right? Um, if we have a really good weekend, if the company is really good, we spend more. But on Monday, we check our bank accounts because we're like, oh, shit, like, am I eating noodles this week or am I going to be able to buy food? And it's like, okay, we check our bank because it's just data. It shows us, did we spend too much? But what we don't do is notice that we spent too much and then say, I'm going to draw all of this out and just give it to everyone because what's the point? I've already spent it all. But we do that with our, our nutrition, our food, that all or nothing where we overconsume and then we have this like, well, I've stuffed it. Like it doesn't work. I'm going to give up. And it's like it just has to be data. And I think if we can learn to remove that uh, emotional attachment to it, it does just become come about data. And for people like you, Ethan, like you said, it's like that there was power in that for you. That's where probably things changed. Would you agree? I mean, night and day. The ability mm -hmm. to navigate my experience with diet and weight loss is night and day with data and, and like useful data. Mm -hmm. There was data before that was like, you know, carbohydrates are making you fat. Stop eating carbohydrates. You will solve the whole thing. And mm -hmm. I, I would lose weight. And then I would stop losing weight. And then I would gain a little weight. And I would still not be eating carbohydrates. And I would be banging my head against the wall. Like, what's why am I broken? What's wrong yeah. with me? I'm not eating the thing that's making me fat. I was allergic mm -hmm. to carbohydrates. And I thought everybody was. Uh, you know, I thought we were all walking around with grain brain. And, and data really, really helped me. And I think the, the more data that I have, it's like a, it's like a suit of armor. You know, I become mm. impenetrable because anything that's going on with me, I have an answer to why it's going on with me. And when I have a real why, then I can understand it and I can not always beat it. It's not like I'm just invincible to this stuff, but I, but I swear to God, understanding what's happening makes it less of this, like I'm bad, you know, whereas mm -hmm. before any, any, like anything that I did that was, you know, like if I have this set goal of like, I'm going to eat only this way forever any kind of deviation from it was just, I'm bad. I suck. I'm a piece of shit. And when I have more data, I can look and go like, oh shit, I hadn't slept. I got on the mm -hmm. plane without food. I've broken some of my cardinal, like foundational tenets, right? The dogma of my life has been, I've, I've, I like, I fucked up three days ago when I didn't go to the grocery store. So that's when I go yes. like, okay, yeah. so I know I need to keep in these things and it will safeguard the future um, rather than just like, you know, I was unable to eat unprocessed foods when I was on a trip for three days in the Midwest and I had no access mm -hmm. to a grocery store or a car. And it's like, yeah, what did you think was going to happen? 